Hello everyone, my name's Zillier2 and welcome to my Let's Play of EU4 with the Third Odyssey mod, Back to the Motherland mod, I mean, well, Third Odyssey, Back to the Motherland mod. It's a great mod, fantastic. But let's, uh, let's talk about this mod. So, first of all, um, I already played this mod. I played as... Um, Byzantium or the Greeks. I don't want to spoil what happens for any of you who haven't seen it yet, but go check that out. I've already done that. But in this series, we instead will be we will be playing as the um, Norse nations. Yes, the two Norse. We have Markland, Helluland. Those are the only two, right? Yes, Markland and Helluland. So I believe I'll be playing as Markland over here. They are Vinlandic, and as you can see, this changes the um, the game uh, quite a bit. Lots of uh, different little nations over here. I believe it also changes the culture. But if, for those of you who don't know what this mod is, basically it's imagine if the Byzantine Empire, or Basilie Romayon, I guess you can call them that, um, imagine if they got their civilization and sent it over to America before it was fully wiped out and rebuilt in America. Again, I played the series before. Um, go check it out. Uh, of the Greeks, but now let's go ahead and begin as the Norse. Now, obviously, a couple of goals we want to make is um, probably unite the Vinlandic people. That would be important. The third Odyssey, the Vikings. Uh, yes, you're now playing as the Forgotten Norse Colonies, known as Markland, founded by Leif Erikson and Thor Thorfinn Kalsefrini. Whatever. A pair of legendary Viking explorers, long since forgotten by the people of Europe, it is now the last haven of Norse culture, where Odin and Thor are still worshipped, and people still sacrificed in great blutes. Your nation is suffering greatly from the effects of isolationism. A small population and a lack of organized trade and production fa uh, facilities are difficult obstacles to overcome. And to make matters worse, a deep-rooted rivalry between remaining Norse colonies is brewing at the point to the point of war. Glories to Vinland! Purge the fallen in our homeland. Sail to England and claim it for the tier. Travel to Roma and hang Pope in blot for Odin. Glories to Vinland! Glories. Red ink. All right, let's get started. So we add Discovery Idea Group. We have Lack of Colonists, so Colonial Range decreased greatly, and Force Limit decrease, and Lack of Farm... Farmen? Farmen? Does that mean farming, I guess? Uh, provincial Trade Modifier and Global Trade Modifier. Or maybe that's trading. Who knows? But uh, hopefully we can fix those. And, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Reform the no Norse Faith. And found the Vinlandic Alfling. So, essentially, we own the core St Stagonia. All the following are true. Is Markland? Helluland does not exist. Or is Helluland and Markland does not exist? Do not have the modifier Lack of Farmen. I believe the Lack of Farmen... We're going to have to start trading with the Elysians once they arrive. Those are the Byzantines. Uh, but I believe I want to wipe out the uh, Byzantines before they become too powerful. Because if they do become too powerful, bad things are going to happen. I'd also like to point out our missionary strength is negative one. That's not good. That is not good at all. Uh, but who will we be worshipping? So we have Odin, Legitimacy, Core Creation, Tax Modifier, Land Leader, Shock, Sailors, Discipline, Trade, Technology, Development, Production, Stability, Costs. Well, I think I want to go for... Tech Cost is good. I will need some more decreased tech costs. What can we do here? Vision quests and spreading of Norse rituals. Yeah, might as well get that now. So now we're at 0%. So we will be able to convert if we get the right uh, advisor. And the rites of passage. So more prestige but lose um, or increase cost of uh, stability. Right, that's fair. So to reform the Norse faith, we need to be Vinland. Uh, admin uh, points 100. Stability 1. We have course on Heluland and Satgonia, and one of the following must be true of the years at least 1500, or the ruler it has admin skill of 4, half a theologian, capital is Immunsil. Immunsil? I have no idea what that is. I have no idea where any of this is. <laughs> but whatever. So, this is Heluland as well. No, that's Micmac. Alright, so we have land all the way down there. Heluland. Now, we should be able to annex Heluland pretty easily, I'd say. Hopefully. But let's go ahead. Uh, it's, cool. it's cool music. Wow. Uh, 
probably discipline. I want to be as my I want to have my men as strong as possible. Land force limit, naval force limit modifier. I like that. I'd obviously make Hellolins into rivals. Advisors. We're not going to get an advisor because we need money. All right, and we'll get that dude right there. How is their navy? Is it like, do we have equal navies? Seven, three, seven, three. Yep, the exact same navies. Well, that's not a good thing. We want to be superior, at least a little bit superior. And you know what? Let's go ahead and build the spy network up. Do we have a truce? Yes, for six years we have a truce. Treasure is found. Ooh, in a stroke of luck, one of our whaling parties assembled upon a sunken ship near the coast of Leesburger. Uh, full of treasure. The ship is full. It filled to the brim with gold crosses, chalices, and other symbols of the old crucified god the sagas talked about, which once for reforged, which once oh, which once reforged should offer quite the valuable influx of wealth to our markets. Awesome. So an extra hundred is always nice. Let's decrease this. We don't need as much army maintenance, but that money is really going to help. So we could also invade some of these native lands. I believe we will going to be quite important to uh, slaughter all of them. Helenand has marked us as rival. Makes sense. The Erikson River, a group of young explorers had decided to follow in Leif Erikson's footstep and continued excursions through the Long River to the south, which is St. Lawrence. Upon reaching the end of the river, they discovered a great lake, whereupon a number of aggressive Skraelings, or natives, tribes, attacked their expedition, forcing, forcing them to return home. In honor of Leif Erikson, we have decided to call this great river... Erickson River. All right, cool. Great, great discovery. So, we can actually go down this river. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. So, the um, St. Lawrence River is, I guess, sea. And I guess the um, Great Lakes are also considered sea, sea tiles. So, that's good. All right. Uh, so, we're getting that spy network there. Jarl, Jarldum. Yeah, that's a uh, duchy, essentially. The Great Lakes, a party of explorers, this time uh, escorted by the warriors, have finally been, uh, been able to fully explore the lake, the er that's only been like a month, the Erickson River, and what they found was extraordinary. At the end of the river were several great lakes, each bigger than richer than the last, but even more amazing was the discovery of a giant waterfall. Many of the explorers were said to have cried out when they saw an awe-inspiring rainbow em uh, emanating the waterfall. From the waterfall? Whatever. They claimed that this must be fabled Bifrost, the bridge to Asgard. Unbelievable. No, it's it's just Niagara Falls. Wait, so where is Niagara Falls? It's like right up here, right? So somewhere near in New York. No, no, I'm sorry. It's right here. Yeah, Niagara. So that's Niagara Falls. I wonder how they got up Niagara. Maybe they carried their boats? They must have. Uh, they actually have a leader. Uh-oh. Oh, we have a leader, too. Oh, you can explore. Hey. Hey, it's pretty good. Uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. What does Discovery do? Allows recruitment explorers and conquistadors. Ooh. Removes settler penalty from climates. Ooh, I like that. Naval uh, force limit modifier. Awesome. So we can't get any other ideas. That's fair. So we can raid and land leader shock increase. Oh. Thorfinn Bay, which is the Hudson Bay. Some explorers made their way north, blah, 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 scrailings. From what we gather, the area is extremely rich in both seal colonies and high-quality timber, and we should discuss the possibility of starting a small community in this bay that we deem the Thorfinn Bay in honor of the great founder, Thorfinn Karlsfinny. Karlsfinny? No, we're Ericsson. We're the Ericssons, man. These are the Karlsfinny. What the hell? What the hell? All right, uh, let's go ahead and get some claims on these guys. And might as well get the claims on these guys as well. In fact, I believe that means we can invade them. They only have... They're only allied with Atimarku, these guys. Random guys that I don't know the names of. Alright, let's go ahead and fund the army. And... Well, I think we'll wait. We only have level 2 technology, so we're not totally powerful. Wait, how strong are they? Kespek. Let's think about this for a second. Kespek is K. Where's K? What? Oh, that's not them. No, it's in you. Okay, sorry. All right, they they have four thousand. We have six thousand, and we have better technology. Ooh, but that land morale would help a lot. 
Oh, the dude's name Leif Erikson. Nice. And he's 345. That's pretty good. Uh, I think for now we're just going to decrease army maintenance. We're not going to attack them, at least not yet. Uh, same thing with Micmac, although they're getting allies. I think first we have to take down HoloLens. Uh, first and foremost, of course. Eventually we're going to meet up with um, the Byzantines or Elysium. Elysia? Elysium? Who knows? One of the two. Uh, yeah. Corruption! Oh boy, just what I wanted to lose money. Should we get. No. I think admin tech right now doesn't really matter. Plus, we have that 50% institution spread uh, penalty because we don't have feudalism. Even though that was discovered a long, long time ago. Uh, it was actually discovered. I guess the Norse were never feudal. So let's go ahead and boost some stability now. Yeah. Fine, we'll lose stability. Just boost it up now to level 2. Good. So now we can get encouraged divination or religious sacrifices. Ooh, stability cost. Oh, I should have gotten that. And stability cost increase. But I, I don't care about divination. I think we should wait for now. Instead, we should boost stability up a bit more so we can get a bit more money over time. And the more money, the better. The southern coast. Several explorers sailed south to the, uh, explore the continent's coast and discovered a fertile and wealthy land. Of course, we're not going to get that. The Byzantines are. Do they only have one soldier? I... No, they have four. No, that's Micmac. I'm sorry. Hallelands. No, they have one. They only have one. We have a non-aggression pact. A non-aggression pact? Really? Oh, fuck. There's no way to cancel that, I don't think. Is, is that a modifier up here? Uh, let's see. Exiled. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. Forgotten Norse colony. That's bad. Unreformed Norse faith, non-centralized lack of colonists, lack of farming, spreading rituals. No, it doesn't show us anywhere. And that truce is only increasing. Hmm. Maybe we should counter espionage now to catch their dude, because they are trying to spy on us. They aren't trying to spy on us. They are spying on us. I think once we get this new military attack, then will um, begin the at attacking the natives because with that uh, morale increase we'll easily be able, be able to slaughter them. At least sucks out Helluland. We can't attack them yet. Naval race with Helluland. Uh, I don't care about that. And improve prestige. Nope. Not going to happen either. Hmm. And that lack of colonists really fucking sucks, man. Really fucking sucks, bro. Really sucks. But whatever. Now, ah, there you go. The Elysians. Rumors have spread in recent months uh, months among the Norsemen that the surrounding scralings of potential newcomers to these lands. Um, that was horrible. I did not say that right. Uh, though we know little about them, we have received artifacts from the locals among the uh, along the trade routes that are unlike anything we or the scralings are a uh, able to create, such as ivory carvings and coins bearing Greek markings. In the Vinland Saga, the... Uh, Greeks were said to have uh, financed Leaf er uh, Leaf's exploration party by buying several narwhal, narwhal horns from him. Wow. All right. Regardless, we must investigate these claims further and hopefully expand our trade network. Uh, for we remember the Greeks being a great target for raiding and trading alike. Let's meet these Greeks. So let's increase relations with them. Try to be friends, you know, be buddy buddy and know how it is. Uh, build the farmen district. What is this? Various traders and merchants have come to show us their hard hardship in trading with the southerners of the Scralings. The long distances, the lack of protection, and the lack of a centralized body to regulate trade has proven too much for our farmen. Uh, to help uh, them, we must decide to we we have decided to create a proper trade center in our capital that should ease future trade deals and expeditions. So, lose a hundred to blow power, lack of farming ends, and Leaf Lending gets a coastal center of trade till the end of the game. I like that idea. So if we actually look at Ericsson Gulf, yeah, we should definitely collect. And you know what? You know you. You know what? You should protect trade. I said protect trade, damn it. Yeah, Ericsson Gulf. Awesome. So this should basically shoot us up quite a bit, I believe. 
Oh, yeah, Markland just got 33%, so we're making a bit more money now. I think we're the only ones who have that. Cool. So eventually, the lesions will start trading with one of us. Not all of us, just one of us. The lesion city, the delegates... Uh, have finally arrived at the Greek capital, which we now call New Constant, or they call New Constantinople, or Miklagard in our tongue. It is truly amazing. It is a truly amazing city, feel, filled with countless people and, and magnificent buildings. So amazed were some in our party that they wondered if they had not died and gone to Valhalla. From what we understood, uh, stand, these Greeks were forcibly exiled from their homelands by savage foreigners, and were only saved by the quick thinking of their emperor, who led a great fleet among uh, across the ocean. Just like the ancient Norse explorers. What is, truly what is truly surprising is that these Greeks, unlike the ones from our sagas, don't worship the white Christ of the Christians, but instead worship a plethora of different gods. Some of which were very similar to Aesir and Varnir. Vanir. So I guess they decided to become Hellenic? Yep. When the diplomatic parties finally uh, reached the glittering imperial palace, there, there were, uh, they were received by the fabled emperor himself. Even with the language barrier between the two cultures, some basic information was exchanged. And thus, it was agreed that a group of Greek diplomats and explorers would accompany the Norse party to visit and even possibly strike a deal with our people. Prepare the courts, we have visitors. Awesome. Visitors from the south, so the Varangian colonies happened to Elysia. So, they, I believe this is when they get to decide who they trade with. Helluland or uh, Markland. Hopefully it's Markland. So, the diplomats and the Greeks have arrived, and we, together uh, with the Jarl of our colony, have prepared the best possible reception for our guests. Yes! Okay, Elysia has accepted our trade deal. This will, this will hopefully reinvigorate our trade and help to reestablish a merchant class. So, Markland and Elysia love each other then. Markland gets the Elysian trade deal. So, we get trade efficiency, production efficiency, and national tax modifier. Now, we might not actually kill the lesions. We might not. But let's go ahead and marry them. Why not? Maritime culture and trade develops in Stramsfjord. Stramsfjord? Right here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Screw you, Helloland. Vinlandic Exodus. Let us grow and follow Leaf's dream. Yes, the discovery of Elysia is a great boon to us. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go colonize. Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. We need to do native suppression. And we can't go up there because lack of colonists. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Um, why don't we go ahead and separate these guys. Wait. Separate these guys. You can go up there. You can continue to protect trade up here. We are getting plenty of moolah. You can go down there. Looks like we need to fund the army now. We'll kill these natives immediately, and then we'll um, uh, defund the army because this is going to cost us quite a bit. Yep, cost us quite a bit indeed. But hopefully, it will help our country out tremendously. Huzzah! We're going to have to kill these guys, uh, Micmac, to uh, spread deeper in, so that's going to be a problem. Oh, they actually have higher morale than we do, but we have better discipline, so yep, all right, that's fine. So let's heal up just a little bit more and stop funding the army. All right, cool. So we're losing a bit of money. That's okay. Smugglers running rampant. That's not okay. Fine. Lose money immediately. We can, we can like debase our currency or whatever or take loans. Yeah, take loans to fund this. Thing requests action. With the passing years, we have gained more and more power, growing from a small colony Eric and Thor Thorfinn founded to a proper Norse nation. But we have st stagnated and stopped expanding in this world. To remedy this, the Thing has come together to ponder possible uh, off offensive ventures. And while attacking our sister colonies out of the question, is it? Many urge us to attack and expand towards Skraling lands. Marklin gains raid and conquer Castabelli on Micmac. And Markling gains a claim on Siskwinak, whatever. And we get urge for conquests. Hmm. So, these guys. I mean, we. Oh no, we didn't have a claim on Micmac yet. Right, that is a problem. Lisha, you want to be. Oh no, we're already allies. Right, already allies. Are you guys allied with them? No. Ha ha ha. Screw you. We're best friends with Elysia. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I still want to wait until I get the late medieval military. I think I also want to get global settler increase before I get the discovery ideas. It's just going to be a waste right now. 
of... I don't want to lose money. I'll lose prestige. Doesn't matter. Am I getting... The institutions yet? Yes! Awesome! Alright, I'm actually going to be... Yeah, we're, we'll both have feudalism. And once we get that, we'll easily be able to get these technologies. Awesome sauce. Alright, so our colony is already at 100. Sweet. Uh, ooh, this land six. I like that. Double what the other land is. Right, this is getting feudalism as well. 15% spread. 20%. Why is that 20%? Whatever. Exiled really hurts us. Um, ooh, whoa, something happened. The Renaissance. Nice. And local bloot. Nah, I don't care about the bloot. Yeah, no need for such festivities. That's pretty fucked up. Uh, Pessimbuckwe and... So these two guys are allied with them. We have just many soldiers, but hopefully our morale will annihilate them. Are they getting the institution? They are not. Good. And I, I don't know what the, um, what level two gives us. Gave us, I guess. Nothing. Oh, it gives you more combat width. So we do have that advantage over them. By the way, what's our, our uh, military like? Ooh, that is shitty military. Hopefully, you know what? I, I think right now... Right now, we're um, exiled Vinlandic, but later we can become, uh, I guess, Norse or just normal Vinlandic. So that, that'll uh, change our um, soldiers. Soldiers up quite a bit. All right, hardy seamen, naval tradition uh, increase. Good. You know I love me some seamen. Yep. Yep, I, I just said that. What you gonna do about it? All right, so this will finish in 1452, 1453. All right, so in 1453, we'll be able to get the new um, institution, or not even the new institution, feudalism. Uh, we need to royally marry again. Here. Marry me! Ooh, look at that. We actually did. Awesome. So we got Irene Agalon. Agalon. Agalon? You're not Agalon. Oh, I married someone from that. Oh, it's a regency. Okay. I was about to say, it's Nikiforos the fourth, but Agalon isn't the right name. I just, I guess I married her sister. Who knows? Uh, Heluland has adopted feudalism. Good for them. Uh, we are about to, though. So don't you worry, Heluland. I'll adopt it, and then we'll both be powerful. We will both be powerful, but I don't want to adopt it now. I want to adopt it for the least amount of money. Okay, it's present, present, present. Uh, only 23 now. Oh, hey, are they colonizing? They are. Ooh. It's a race now. Oh, it's a race. Right, let's go ahead and embrace it just for seven. So that's going to really help our technology. Good. So that institution spread uh, tech really hurt, still hurts us, fortunately. Carracks are going to be kind of important when we uh, eventually attack the Heliland. The Heliland? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Can I? Hmm. I should be able to raid, right? Someone? No. I think I might need to raid with, like, galleys or something. Perhaps. Oh, and that's weird. The uh, Iro Iroquois aren't united. They should be. Yeah, usually they are. I mean, in the normal game, they are, so... Alright, let's lose prestige. I want to keep technology as high as possible. Oh, ooh, noble family request autonomy. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's going to hurt me for a while. But that that increase in development always helps overall. I mean, in the end, more development is always going to help me, right? Right, right. So what are you producing now? Uh, naval supplies. That's expected. All right, let's go ahead and get the early Carrick. So that increase in settler growth. Awesome. 45 per year now. Sweet. Sweet. So what's the next tech, next tech do? Oh, that's pretty good. You guys level 3? Of course you're level 3. You start off level 3. So it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. But not really. Snacker out. I, I really like how they changed all the names to the provinces to like a Nordic province. Provinces names. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so I, I would hope that in this series I can unite Vinland, take over like the northern North America, and spread back to our homeland, retaking our land, taking over Britannia, and just overall killing all of them. Ooh, population boom. During our trade deals with Elysia, the main selling wares have been food crops and planting techniques. Awesome. So it's a settler increase. Oh my god, that is amazing. 
If they're getting zero per year, well, I'm getting 95. For how long? How long was that? 10 years? Where is it? Settler boom. Nope, for only a couple years. Eh, it's going to help. All right, good. Tensions along the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Helland. Trying to take my land over. Is that it? Trying to betray me? Your own brother. Your own brother! You betrayer! Eh, who cares? I'm going to betray them anyways. Eventually, you know, eventually. All right, and there we go. We got the new technology, that land morale increase. Mechmac. Raid and conquer. So we can conquer them, obviously. But, ooh, wait. Elysia won't join, really? Why? We don't have enough favors. Right, how many favors do we have? Only four. Well, we do have much higher morale than they do. Do you want to be allies? Yeah, we're rivals. You want to be our rival, which really sucks. Uh, let's just increase army maintenance for now. We got plenty of money, and we can steal a lot of money from them. And if we get a good leader, then we'll be able to easily slaughter the natives. Raiders humiliated. Yay! They also heavily defeated a single group of Skraelings. How do you die from natives, man? You're heavily armored, I would assume. Come on, man. Step your game up. All right. Treasury decreased. Morale of armies guy. Oh, he could help. He could help. Let's go get him. Local Gothy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fine. We'll rebuild it. Can't keep losing prestige. Okay, let's go ahead. Save the game here. Let's go ahead and invade this Skraelings. Come on, give me a good leader. Eh, he's okay. Let's go kill them. All right, and everyone's gonna get called in. Squish! Ooh, war declared. The invasion of Skraelings have begun. Many young uh, inter interbred warriors, season uh, Vikings, out of other things, thirst for war. So we gain ducats, prestige, legitimacy, unrest, decrease everywhere else. All right, this should. Be, yep, that is an easy slaughter. Although we're gonna have a lot of people coming in. Who are you running off to? Okay, we're going to have a lot of people coming in. So I think I want some more Norse. That is not what I wanted. Some more Norsemen. Just at least one more. Maybe two more. Uh, they are coming in there. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Nope. Pick them up. Loop them around. In fact, you guys, why don't you go over there? Stop them. Or blockade it. And they're going to take over our... Um, they're going to take over our colony, which is fine. Ooh, we need to blockade them then. Right there. Come on. Ooh, they're having a hard time marching through this land. Come on. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, we're not going to be able to blockade them because uh, we don't own any land. Right, yeah, that would be a problem, yeah. All right, so they're not even attacking me, which is good. Come on, finish this. Finish the siege. If we can finish the siege, then we'll win. Come on! It's so close! Seriously, seriously, hurry up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just a little tribe. There you go. Cool. Alright, so let's retake our lands now. Losing a lot of money. That's fair. Why are we losing so much, though? Wow. That is insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Let's get up there, then. We're blockading them now, right? There's a... Yeah, there is a little crossing right there. So we're blockading them. Um, I have an idea. I have ideas. I could trap them here. Destroy their militaries. Here. If we can just go over here now. Alright. So what's going to happen... Yeah, they'll take that land. Doesn't matter. What's going to happen... We're, on, we're only going to have 3,000 sitting around here. Ooh. And you No, what? No, I'm an idiot No, I failed I fucked up Run home, oh my god Why did you do that? What I was about to say Was I'm trying to attract them into here Then I'll squish them 
Hey, would you just surrender now? No. Cool. Um, oh, I should have built another boat. It's going to take a year to build another one, and I'm losing money fast. Shit. Uh, okay, boats. Pick these idiots up. Move them over here. Pick these guys up. Move them over here. Go directly there. You idiots. Absolute idiots. Why would they do that? Oh, they retook the land. That's fine. Um, again, I'll just allow them to go into this land and we'll squish them. As it should be. Hmm. So how am I going to do this? Well, in reality... No, they can't attack me there. Here, we'll... Go and get these guys first. Wait till the end of the month. Heal oh, as much as you could. And we'll send you over to there. Yes, yes, yes. Quite, 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 quite nice, quite nice. And, okay, so... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God. Be smart about this game. Loop around that way. So now it's like, oh, look, we have no one there. How depressing. Go attack us. And then we stop them. All right, cool. So now they can't help these guys. We'll kill them. Oh, I know. Give it a sec. Oh, shit. Okay, so retake this lands. All right, awesome. So then once we squish this army... They'll be destroyed because they're totally blockaded. Yes! Okay, that army is annihilated. Sweet. We'll retake this land now. Or actually, yeah, retake this land. And attack them. Come on, come on. Oh, their army's right there. Uh-oh, having problems. We have... Why aren't we healing enough? Man, that's weird. Uh, get over there now. So we squished an entire army there. Get there. Come on, get there now. Alright, they're they they're very low. They probably would surrender if I owned them. No, actually, they wouldn't. That's no, no bueno. Alright, walls breached. Palms are sweaty. My knees weak. Arms are heavy. And mom's spaghetti. Okay. I'm almost out of money, but this is all just for one stupid fucking province. Actually, could I take... I could keep going down. Oh, looks like they want to attack me. They really would like to attack me now. They're just standing over there now. Damn! Come on, this isn't fair. Shit. I might have blown my load a little bit too soon. Uh, let's take a couple loans here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's send the uh, uh, colonists there. Are you running away? That's weird. Miracle of life. Oh, boy. The birth of a new baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. War exhaustion decrease. And they're killed. All right, cool. We just surrender now at 43%. Oh, God. Stop getting attacked. Are they invading me? I think they're attacking me. No? Okay, cool. They're just staying back for now. Cool, 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 cool. Kill, kill. Yeah, that's kill. Surrender? Surrender? Wow, you really do not want to surrender there. You do not want to surrender there, bud. Here, good leader. Ooh, four shock. I like that four shock. Yeah, like you care about what Mick Mac thinks. Mick Mac Patty Whack. Give the dog a bone. Uh, are you are you are you gonna attack or not? How long? How much longer do we have? All right, so let's siege up this dude. Settlers, ooh, ooh, military culture, I like it. Yeah, look at that manpower increase, sweetness. 
All right, come on. Ooh, we're getting close. They're they're surrendering. They would like to surrender, and I'm just constantly losing money from all this. All these shenanigans. Hey, you want to get out? Ooh, you kind of want to get out. Colony self-sustaining, and I'm a zealot. Awesome. So good. We have a new a new colony, a new new lands. Sweet. Kill them. Squish. Not squish, but it's a good bit of killing. That uh, shock damage really helps us. Hey, who else is in this war? It's Penskobot. Do you guys want to just get out? Get out of this. Uh, get out of this war. This battle. This whatever. Good. Can I have some money? Can I have just a bit? Give me your money. So they're out of the war. I think now might be the opportunity of a lifetime to actually annex both of these guys. That way, this war can actually be worth something. For once. Alright, so s attack them. Ooh, pretty big battle, pretty big battle. And we failed. Great. Alright, I think we should just take the land. Yeah. Say screw it, just take the land over. Who cares at this point, really? Not I. Not I. Here, let's go over there to make sure they can't go into me. Alright, that 100%. Give me all your money. And that's it. Cool. Alright, so Micmac has fallen. Micmac Paddywhack. Kill them. Angry Scraylings. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be angry? Let's go ahead and make them into a core. Could I actually convert the land? Uh, no. Great. All right, but you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so that was a pretty extremely long episode. I think I'm going to cut that one in half. But uh, Mark Lind has succeeded in invading the Skraylings. That was harder than expected. Can't wait to uh, attack Helluland. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, our truce is slowly fading. Hmm. Alicia, are we? We don't have enough favors. Gain one every three years. Great, great to know. All right, but thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya Toon. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.